Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find all the missing sites in each of the following diagrams using two different methods. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, we have the L shape given with a couple of sides missing. We have sides 7 cm, 5 cm, 2 cm, 8 cm. To find the missing side using the first method, I'm going to tag the remaining two sides. Let's call this X and let's call this Y. Using the parallel vertical line method, the first step is to highlight all my vertical lines as shown. I have the first one. I have the 7 cm vertical line and then the 2 cm vertical line. Note that I've only highlighted vertical lines that are parallel to each other. What this means is the longest vertical line, which is x in this case, is equal to the sum of the other vertical lines, which is 7 cm and 2 cm. A quick way to check this is, if I bring in the line 7 cm, note that this image is not drawn to scale, it's just for illustration, and I bring it closer to my x centimeters, and I pick the 2 cm, I do the same, you'll find out that the x cm is equal to the sum of 7 cm and 2 cm. So therefore, x in this case is equal to 7 cm plus 2 cm, which is equal to 9 cm. I'm done with finding the x line. I'm going to do the same for my y line. This time around, my y is horizontal, so I'm going to be using the horizontal line. I start with the longest one. The longest horizontal line here is my 8 centimeters. The next one, or the smaller ones, are 5 centimeters and y. Note that I'm going to draw that again so that it can fit exactly. Okay. If I move down my horizontal line, like I did my vertical lines, I start with my 5 centimeters. Like I said, the diagram is not drawn to scale. It's just for illustration purpose. And I move down my Y centimeters. It's going to align with my 8 centimeters, such that I move down my 5 centimeters, as shown, and my Y. In order to find Y, Y plus 5 centimeters is equal to the longest side, 8 centimeters, therefore my y is equal to 8 centimeters minus my 5 centimeters, and that will give us 3 centimeters. So my y in this case is 3 centimeters, and if you check, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Going to the second method, the second method is what I term my box method. I'm going to extend the line as shown so that I complete the box given. I'm going to adjust that quickly. Isn't the properties of a square or the properties of a rectangle, the distance or the opposite sides of a rectangle or a square are equal. In the case of a square, all the sides are equal. In the case of the rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So if I have this side to be eight centimeters, the other side is also going to be 8 centimeters. Likewise, to find the other side, I have 7 centimeters here. This side is also 7 centimeters. And what that means is, if I add the total distance from the top to the bottom, that's 7 centimeters plus 2 centimeters, that will give us 9 centimeters. 
So the distance on my left hand side is equal to 9 centimeters using the properties of a rectangle. Also, to find the last side, the smaller side, as shown, I have this side of the rectangle equal to the side of rectangle. So this side is also 5 centimeters. Remember, the total side is 8 centimeters. So therefore, to find the small part, we have 8 centimeters minus 5 centimeters, which will give us 3 centimeters. Remember, the first method we use using the line, vertical line and horizontal line, we also add the side to be 9 centimeters and the small side here to be 3 centimeters. Let's look at another shape using the same method. Starting with my vertical line method, I'm going to highlight all my vertical lines. That's the longest. I have 3 meters and 12 meters. So what it means is, if I break up this shape on this side, then I have this length to be equal to the side because that is a rectangle. So what I have is 12 meters. And the remaining part, I have this side equal to the side that will give us 30 meters. So therefore, if I add them together, the total length will be 12 plus 3, 15 meters. I'm going to move to my horizontal lines. Using the same method for my horizontal lines, I have the longer side as shown. I have the smaller side, 5 and 4. So what it means is, to find the longer side, I'm going to add the smaller sides 4 and 5, so this side will be 4 meters plus 5 meters, which is equal to 9 meters. That's the first method. If I'm to use the second method, taking out what I have, I have, I'm going to start by extending the box. Remember, the ships are not drawn to scale, it's just for illustration. If I extend the box as shown, I have dealing with the or using the smaller rectangle, I have the opposite sides being equal. So this side is also 5 meters. So what happens is the total length on this side is equal to the total length on this side using the properties of a rectangle. And that will be 4 plus 5, which is equal to 9 meters. To find the other long side, I'm going to take out what I've written here. Is in the same method. I have the box extended as shown such that the side three meters is also equal to the side three meters. So what has happened is the total length on this side is twelve plus 3, and that will also be equal to the total length on this side. So this side will give us 12 plus 3, which is equal to 15 meters. Let's look at one more example. In this example, using the vertical and horizontal line method, we've been given the total height of the shape, which is 20 centimeters. I'm going to start with vertical lines. To my left, I have 16 and 8 centimeters. I'm going to correct that. 8 centimeters here is my horizontal line. So I have the second line missing. Let me call that X. Such that if the total vertical line, the longest one, is 20 centimeters, to find the smaller one, remember what I did in the first example. I have 16 plus x giving us the total of 20 centimeters. So therefore, x in this case will be 20 centimeters minus 16 centimeters. And that will give us 4 centimeters. 
So my x here is equal to 4 centimeters. And if you look at, if I move the line, I'm going to draw the line again. If I move the line to merge with my 16 centimeter line, it's going to give me the total distance or the total height given that's four centimeters as 20 centimeters, which is also the same as what was given. That's for my left hand side. If I take this out to find the second missing side, I'm going to use the same height, 20 centimeters, to find the missing length on my right hand side. I have the first one, that's my Y missing, then I have six. Remember, six centimeters here and my, let's call this Y, must give me the total length, 20 centimeters. Because if I extend or move my six centimeter line to merge with my Y, it's going to give me the total distance or the total length, 20 centimeters. So I know this to be six. So to find Y, y equals 20 centimeters minus 6 centimeters which is equal to 14 centimeters so this distance is equal to 14 centimeters so using the vertical line method i've been able to find all the missing side i'm going to do the same for my horizontal side starting with my longest horizontal line that's 24 centimeters I'm going to find the remaining horizontal line. I have eight centimeters. I have nine centimeters and the missing horizontal line. Let me call that Z. If I move my lines to merge with my 24 centimeters, I've moved my eight centimeters. I'm going to move my nine centimeters this is my eight centimeters my nine centimeters and moving my let me call this my z i'll do the same in order to complete the long line that's my z what i have is 24 centimeters is equal to my eight plus nine plus z 24 centimeters is equal to 17 centimeters plus z so therefore my z equals 24 centimeters minus 17 centimeters which is equal to 7 centimeters so my z my missing side is equal to 7 centimeters if i'm to use the box method box method means if i extend my lines as shown this line is equal to this line. This is also 6 centimeters. If I extend my line on my left hand side, 8 centimeters here. This is also equal to 8 centimeters. I have 9. So to find my missing side here, that will be the total distance is 24 as shown. So to complete my 24, I have 8 plus 9. That's 17 plus 7. So therefore, this side is also equal to this side, which is 7 centimeters. Likewise, to find my vertical lines, taking out what I have here, I have the total length given as 20 centimeters. So on my left-hand side, to find the missing side here, that will be... 16 remember this side is also equal to this side let me call this x x plus 16 must give me 20 centimeters so therefore 20 minus 16 x must be equal to 4 centimeters and that means this line here is equal to 4 centimeters because 4 plus 60 will give you 20. on the other side I know this line is equal to this line, that's 6 centimeters. The total distance has been given as 20 centimeters. So in order to find the missing part, that will be 20 minus 6, that's 14 centimeters, such that 
If I add 14 to 6, it will give me the total distance, 20 centimeters. Thanks for watching. Bye.